I began Blue Tech Week Wednesday morning during the bio-based systems and circular economy session. During this session, I listened to the speeches of Brian Bauer of Resynergy, Greg Murphy of Blue Nalu, Sergio Gambarini of Nemo's Garden, and Paolo Tisseria of Mycerina. Resynergy is a company that specializes in turning plastic waste into diesel fuel to eliminate greenhouse gases produced by traditional oil drilling and refining. Resynergy could eliminate greenhouse emissions of traditional methods by 68%. This process is done by granulating the plastics, which are then vaporized. These volatiles are then pyrolyzed before being catalyzed into fuel. Blue Nalu is a company that is growing fish meat from small samples of cells. The final product is in the form of fillets that are indistinguishable from real fish caught at sea. Nemo's Garden is a company that is beginning research on how to reduce land and water use of agriculture by growing crops on the sea floor inside of domes. These domes have an air pocket where energy from the sun evaporates the surface seawater in the dome. That water is now fresh and condenses on the inside of the dome. It is then pumped into spiraling tubes filled with soil from which plants grow. Domes are set up in groups of six where air pressure, humidity, oxygen, carbon dioxide, light levels, air and water temperatures are all monitored. Mycorrhina is a company that is focused on making imitation meat products from fungi. If this product is widely accepted over animal products, it would significantly reduce the number of greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere and save water. The fungus is grown from old bread that has been discarded by grocery stores. This is then fermented and textured before being flavored and sold as the final product. Also on Wednesday, I attended the on and offshore freshwater session. During this session, I listened to the speeches of Eric Trotola of Astera and Thierry Carlin of Marine Tech. Astera is a company that uses synthetic aperture radar on the satellite to detect subterranean drinking water leaks. This is done by targeting electromagnetic radiation in an area suspected to have a leak. That radiation is then reflected back to the satellite and an absorbent spectrum is extrapolated. An algorithm is then used to determine if the absorbent spectrum matches that of water that contains specific dissolved compounds, which would signify drinking water. This is estimated to save 13 months of water annually. I contacted a speaker who said that interns are now being hired, so I sent in my resume. Marine Tech is a company that is similar to Astera, except their goal is to search for fresh water sheds under the seafloor. A surface of phases must be done before this water is extracted. Phase 1 includes geologic, satellite, and infrared surveys. Phase 2 includes acoustic marine surveys, isosalinity mapping, and measurements of subsurface flow. Phase 3 includes a one-year study on the watershed followed by production engineering and economic analyses. After these phases are completed, extraction can begin. I would like to end by thanking the ESRM 462 Fund and the IRA Committee for providing the funding that allowed us to attend Blue Tech Week this year.